Hey, how's it going, guys? Today marks a crazy day in the stock market, or especially the crude market, where you saw the WTI crude future for the May contract go as low as negative $40 a barrel. This is insane. I was following oil all day today, and I saw, okay, it hit $10. I thought it hit support. You know, it'd probably rally. But no, it kept on going down. It went down to about $8. I was like, wow, that's crazy. And then it went down to $6. I'm like, damn, this is crazy. And then all of a sudden during like lunchtime, it went to about $0.90. Cents. And I'm like, oh, man, this thing could go to like uh, negative. And then I was like looking on my phone. It went to $0.01. Cent. I'm like... I'm not going to trade this thing because, you know, there's uh, two days out to delivery for this contract. So I, I don't mess with that. But then all of a sudden um, the market lost control and went all the way down to negative $40 a barrel. Negative $40 a barrel. Now, granted, it's stabilized after hours. It's trading at, what, $1.30 a barrel, which is, you know, a great uh, short squeeze or the Federal Reserve is buying the market right now i don't know what it is uh there's some theories of what happened it may be because there's a lot of storage uh out there isn't too much places to store crude oil for those taking delivery so i think those traders or speculators that wanted to store the oil were panicking to try to find where can they store the oil and then the market just went to free fall that's what I'm reading happen. Some people are saying, hey, it's debt deflation. And whatever happened today was insane. But I do want to look at a few things here. I want to look at the OVX, uh, the uh, contract that is traded. Not the contract. It just measures the volatility in the USO. And as you can see, the volatility here was 226, which is extremely high. And this wasn't the high of the year. So th think about this. Crude oil futures went to the low. This is the May contract. It went to the low of what? Minus 40. And the volatility divergence, you could see over here. Earlier, the OVX volatility was 300. This volatility is 226. I did notice, though, just to uh, put in a different pointer, you had the volatility of oil, I think, on the options. I was looking at the options just to see how it was trading for the June contract. Like The volatility, it said it was like what, 600% at one point. So, you know, just look at... The ETF versus the futures contract was a little different. But regardless, if you look at this divergent, you could see that, hey, less volatility for crude oil futures using the OVX, a.k.a. the USO. And in addition, you could look at oil ETFs such as, what, XLE? We could take a look right now. You know, it was only down 3%. That's very bullish. And the OIH. <laughs> okay. And it's what, $88.23 is down only 2%? While oil was down, what, 200 something percent? This is bullish, in my opinion, short term. Um, you know, you could see something crazy happening in the June contract as well if the economies don't start coming back on into fruition and also if there's a problem with storage. So uh, those are my thoughts for that. Uh, also, you're probably going to see some commodity fund blow up because of this. There's rumblings that a few of these funds are going to belly up in the next few days. But anyways, guys, uh, thanks for listening to me. I'll talk to you later. See ya.